Yeah, I mean, 97 was the worst move in the position other than hanging it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is why I can't watch these games. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I can't watch these games. Uh, spectate Tyler 1. Is Tyler 1 playing chess still? Is he that insane? I hope he's not. I hope he's not that insane. Is he still playing? I hope he's not, actually. Like, uh, jokes aside... He's playing. Oh god. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's let's find him. Um, what's his name? It's like Big Tonka or something weird. It's like Big Tonka, right? Wait, what is it? It's Big Tonka T. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch Tyler for a bit. I'm gonna be honest though. Like, I, this is just tough love, but I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest. Like, Tyler won. I mean. He needs to get back to League of Legends. Like, he has hit that hard wall, and he continues to play. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. Like, maybe he just likes being a masochist. But, like, his, his improvement has... He's basically hit the... He's hit the wall. The, the wall that I've referred to a million times, where, like, you just stop improving at a certain point. Oh, let me mute the other tab so we don't hear, hear, hear stuff. Um, mute tab. Uh, let me mute all the game tabs. Okay. Okay. Not true. One from 200, 400, 1400. I've spoken about it before. Uh, I don't know what the, I mean, I'm sure there's some scientific reason besides just saying neuroplasticity or whatever for, um, when you say neuroplasticity or whatever is the, the general thing. Like I, I know that's the, the technical way of putting it, but I, I feel like there's, there should be a better scientific, um, explanation than just like neuroplasticity. Cause it's like, it doesn't matter who you are when you start. When you start at a certain point as an adult, like you cannot get past a certain level. It's just, it's impossible. And I don't know what the actual reason is. Rook C8, very bad move. Now Black will walk the king up. But again, the level they're at, you never know. But King A4 and B3 doesn't seem super difficult. Um, thinking of Mr. Sneckle for the eight months. Yeah, if he doesn't check here, he's just losing the game. Now, will he go King B3? And then King C3 and B3 and Rook B4 and build the bridge? At this level, I don't think it's guaranteed. The problem for, for Tyler here is that it black this king queen side is so stable king side is so stable that you know that you're just pushing p yeah. okay first blunder Oh, uh, Hafu was the best improver. Yes, I would agree. I think I think Hafu for the for someone who put in that much time and her rating was also in the same range though, right? Wasn't Hafu also like 1500, 1600 ish? And she she went all in for like a, for like two months as well. I think. Um, yeah, of course, Rook F6 is an obvious move because like it's a free pawn. Like you're you're probably not even seeing Rook F1 and calculating the pawn push most likely here. This game could go either way though. And you ask me, why do I know that this is Tyler's level? The reason that I know that um, is because he's been stuck in this range between like 1,300 and 1,500 for the last like two weeks now. And I don't know, again, what I when I say these things, like it's not to be mean. It's just based off of literally my entire life in chess and, and seeing, um, seeing these things. Um, okay, so this should be a draw, I would guess. Um, but if anybody can win, it's probably only white because H5 is a weak pawn. Magus did win. Actually, sorry, Sardosh. Sardosh, I thought already was playing chess though. Tyler's improvement, I would say, it's not super shocking to me objectively. Um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, he's like spending 12 hours a day, uh, whereas most people can only spend like two to three hours. Um, and then secondarily, so he's getting like four x the hours. But then, but then secondly, um. I would say that getting to like 1400 that's about a thousand over the board that's not that's not super out of this world high it, it isn't now i know of course there are a lot of people who struggle with these levels to be completely fair like i'm not going to try and pretend um very good chance that tyler wins this goal because there's a very good chance we get a queen g6 check here very very good chance um they know miles edwards right um for the resub but I, i've said before like in chess there's really only one thing you need to get to a certain level all you need are tactics like and let's just use like actual over the board ratings i would say like over the board ratings like 1000 is not insane if you have good tactics like it's not hard to go from zero to 1000 not hard at all um stuck for two weeks yeah but it starts to trend actually it's been more than two weeks probably oh queen g6 i told you guys i knew he was gonna walk into this yeah i knew he was, 
96th percentile is just a misnomer you guys um when we talk about 96th percentile that's because there's so many new accounts created on chess.com which have a 400 rating and don't go anywhere like the, the, like it, it's a huge misnomer when you say it's like 96th percentile that's not the 96th percentile it isn't if you look at the active accounts it maybe is like I would guess it's hard though because on chess.com there's so many accounts created 400 that it probably is like 90th percentile even though in over the board it's not like over the board I would say that essentially 1000 which is the level Tyler's at is is like 1400 is 1000 1400 is 1000 over the board there's a 400 point rating differential uh over the board I would say that 1000 is probably I'm guessing 85th percentile How, wait why am I not um let me click follow um follow there we go what is Magnus's wall I mean his wall is like 2850 or 2880 or whatever it is that's his wall what is this this he's actually yeah he's playing the same opening I mean trying to play with his meme openings obviously not a great opening choice either if I'm being honest like but it proves one key point as I've said before which is in chess the only thing that matters is tactics up to a certain point like the opening doesn't mean anything you can literally play a6 b6 if you know the basic development and you have good tactics it doesn't matter until probably I would like say 1800 online that's what I would say I think you can probably get to about 1800 online playing bad openings if you have good tactics maybe higher even frankly but uh it, but I would say the, the the opening doesn't matter up to a point it just doesn't matter uh why aren't feeding and chess.com ratings the same because chess.com is online and chess.com has different I think they use a different rating system they're more players etc etc again like white is much better here but the, the the thing is it's a closed position so like the game can go in any direction here how much time would it take me to get to this level uh this is like 1000 this is basically like 1000 1000 over the board uh I was there within six months but I I had a break like I started I was like 700 I had a six month break and then I went straight up so um but even the, even that is a bad example because like it, it's a bad example also because like when, when I when I got really into chess as a kid I was spending maybe three four hours uh when I was really little like three four hours and so the thing is like it looks really really it, it, it makes it like that's three four hours whereas Tyler's spending 12 hours so he's putting in 3x the hours so it, it's the hours that actually matter more than the actual pure days the hours per day that matters the most not everyone's chess winner that's not the point though that's that's not the point at all he's spending like 12 hours the effort is impressive I mean the question is what's going to happen when he stays stalled in this range for like another month and he's he's spending all his time playing chess instead of streaming League of Legends that's that's going to be the real question that's the big question is a coach worth it um uh a coach is worth it honestly you, you I, I probably shouldn't say this considering this is like the field that my stepdad is in but I, I would say realistically unless you have aspirations as a, as like a kid to be like a really serious player to try and get very strong I would argue there are so many resources online that you you actually don't need a coach that's the honest reality I don't think you need a coach I think all the resources on chess.com and elsewhere make it so that you don't really you don't actually need a coach if you do your puzzles you do all these things you're gonna get to a pretty good level without without needing a coach yeah do I think it's sussy went from 1,400 a week no I don't not at all because like the, because he had the big big gap of which is not surprising considering all the puzzles and everything else he does no I don't find it weird at all also some people self-motivate better than others like streamers specifically they're they're much better at self-motivation than others because like when you start out streaming you're just doing it like you just do it on your own you don't have like a big team you don't have people helping you so for like a streamer they're obviously going to be very good at self-motivation Uh, starting young makes a difference I mean it depends like what you want chess to be for you I mean it, it really depends what you want from chess yeah in two years ago go from zero to two thousand in, in rapid which is basically 1600 over the board that doesn't sound impossible no I would say I, I think in general like the the level which gets like where you have to really put in a lot of time is somewhere around 2000 over the board which online is 23 2400. I think if you spend a couple of years you can probably get there but getting above that is is borderline impossible unless you start as a kid. Borderline impossible. Just just saying it, it's it's impossible. It, it basically is impossible.
and you've also seen it with all the streamers too like a lot of them when they play chess during pog champs um um during pog champs a lot of streamers like they, they had improvement they hit that peak the difference between them and tyler is that tyler is basically trying to bang his head against the wall over and over and hope for a different result whereas like a lot of them, like xqc for example it was like 11 1200 and then he stopped of course when he played after months of a break he ended up you know like doing doing very poorly um whereas like all of them hit a wall at some point and then then of course they moved on from chess and pog champs but um i mean tyler is trying to break through that wall he might break through it you never know it is possible but i would say just based on like all my years in chess it's pretty unlikely he might get to 1600 i think i think he could get to 1600 but i don't really see it see much above that without like i don't know like playing a bunch of different openings like just just literally spending every hour of every day on chess forever everyone's talking about tyler like he's a god well i mean it's tough because like on the one hand when i say this stuff like I, i'm literally basing it off of 30 years in chess on the other hand people are like oh you're just being negative and negative nancy whatever but like when you've literally spent like 30 years in chess and you've, you've you've literally seen nothing where someone goes from zero to like master level past a certain age like it's just reality and i mean i don't know people don't like the truth in this modern day but i'd rather give the truth than like give up give something fluffy uh do you know anyone who spent this much time on chess as a beginner i mean many people have many kids have many many kids have Uh, same here and after five months I'm still 1350 it's because there's a, there's there's just like there's this brick wall there's this wall that you run into and it's just like Harry Potter you know how platform nine and three quarters like when Harry runs into the wall in Harry Potter like he runs into the wall he can't go through the wall it's the same thing there, there's there's a wall for everybody in chess that you hit very very relatively early on now some cases it doesn't happen um like my brother it didn't happen but that's also why my brother stopped improving because my brother basically went almost unabated from like starting up to like 1900 or 2000 over the board which is like 2400 online very very good but that actually was a huge impediment later on because then he couldn't then he stopped improving like he he, won, he had never hit the wall he never had to grind and get through that wall so he actually he, he stopped he basically was around master he hit master level and never improved okay let's see what's happening in this game um I would argue ooh, queen d4 is such a bad move but I guess at this level it, it doesn't it doesn't even matter the two bishops are better it doesn't matter the two bishops are better um but we back wait f I didn't drop any frames though OBS didn't drop any frames what the heck that that must have been on Twitch that had to have been on Twitch because I didn't drop any frames that must have been a Twitch issue okay thank you to close for the seven months I mean come on Amazon's up like three per not three percent but it's like 146 or something today right it's 146 surely they can afford to pay for these pay for servers come on so anyway um okay yeah this position um this position I mean black is better objectively but I don't expect it really at this level all it comes down to is who is the easier plans that's it um like here for example computer wants 95 which to me is not that difficult to play but see like white tries to force through an obvious plan with f6 to try to go for something obvious and it's just a bad move I still think the game could go either way at this level f f for what what is f oh uh, this appeared that actually looked like it was on my end that was on my end I just saw red that was on my end that was actually my internet why is it going red is something being uploaded let me see one second what's going on yeah yeah no no that's on my end I could see the dropped frames Fabiano's game by the way Tyler one is playing he's winning another game yeah so like Tyler's been stuck in this rating range I'll just change the scene again but Tyler's been stuck in this rating range around like 1400 ish for for a long long time I mean I I, I really do think Tyler's peak is 1600 that's what I would say I, I think Tyler's peak is 1600 online I'll just say it. I, I I mean maybe he'll be psychotic about it and like waste months and months rather than streaming and making money but um I really do think 1600 is the upper upper end of where he can get to watch Tyler one okay one second like here's a good example this this position is all about tactics 
but actually one thing I don't like is like something like this here's an example this position out of the opening this cow opening is very it's very very positional because there are no clear plans like do you play e5 do you play d5 what do you do first thing is you basically try to castle your king out of the center of the board if you can but it's very very slow and this is where you have to strategize and what you're doing actually let me go back what you're trying to do is figure out where the pieces belong and long term what do you push this one do you push this one it's it's not like a fourth sequence of moves which is what tactics are generally taxes are four sequences like this is a tactic for example right here this g5 queen h3 this is a tactic a tactic slash puzzle whatever you want to call it where you lose the bishop on h4 if you could pick one past world champion you could play a match who would it be um I don't know who would give me the toughest challenge but there, there are two specific world champions that I would have loved to play um and everybody gives this answer um everybody gives this answer but the the the, the answer of course the main one is is uh Bobby Fischer everybody will say that universally um the other one that I would have loved to play against would be Capablanca but yeah I mean if you ask any top player today who they wish they could play against who's not around they would all say Bobby Fischer without fail without fail they would say Bobby Fischer okay so white's better here but it's a tricky position to play extra knight but black's king very safe here and black has obvious ideas in the center of the board uh Tal I, I would say the reason that people would not say Tal is because because Bobby Fisher's rating was 27 87 I think it was I think Bobby Fisher's rating was 27 87 um and like that's like legitimately up there like that's that's like one point below my current rating and I like I, it's what 50 years later um so Bobby Fischer had such a high rating I think a lot of people are really curious how good he was because by rating he was he was probably as good if not better than all of us honestly I would put zero percent chance on white playing this knight b1 move or rook f1 white's probably going to lose the game here why not cook Morphe because that, that just wouldn't be fun that just wouldn't be challenging Think of Porter for the 44. Think of Kevin Poker. Think of Fluxy. Oh, we're just watching this game because we're having some fun right now. Uh, St. Louis Shadow saying Hans is better than Bobby. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. No, I, I would say if you look historically, Bobby Fischer, in my opinion, has probably had the biggest gap between himself and everybody else. And, and th this is as someone, this is like he was a really good player, too. It's not like, it's not like, um, it's not like, uh, what's his name? I don't know who I was going to say, but I just feel like Fisher is a contemporary. Like he's somebody who could play against the top players today and you don't feel like he would, he would necessarily lose. That's the thing. Like you don't feel like Fisher would lose to us necessarily. And I feel like if you look at like Paul Morphy, he was really ahead of his time, but if he played any of us, he would lose. We, we, we have chess later on. You guys are playing title Tuesday. Thank you Frost Dio for the hundred bits. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Frosty Dio with the great bits. I got to show that. Thank you SSM for the 31 months. <laughs> Sorry, I, I gotta play this. How do I how do I play this? Is, do I not have the alert set for this one? No, I, I don't have it set. But anyway, thank you, Frosty Diver, for the hundred bits. He writes, "Cheers, hundred, hello. I am a representative from Tyler One's management team. He sent me to tell you that you can no longer stream his games and have forty five minutes to end the stream, or we'll take legal action." Thanks, Reese. Nice one, Frost Diver. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Good one good one um okay so let's see what we get here um white is much better but the problem with the situation for both sides is queen g2 is actually a very good move because now you can move the knight queen g2 is a very good move from Venator, and now you can move the knight backwards to b1 and d2 or d1 and f2 thank you so much to add cicadas for the 25 months anniversario uh muchas gracias or or um gracia i don't know whether you're spanish or, or italian because that, that that's both um but anyway thank you you to Todd Higg for the five months. Thank you. Hikaru, I gained 400 points in the last month's 1800. Now I'm able to beat 2200 bots within 20 minutes of thinking. What bracket of tournament rate should I join? Um, I don't know where you are in the US. I would say that you should try to play a tournament with an, like, uh, Queen F3 is a horrible move, of course. But Tyler's probably going to see this pawn and be afraid. He'll probably guard it, I would guess. Maybe not, though, because the knight is just, you, you see check, and if it's not mate, one thing we tell beginners is if you see a check, it, you check because it might be mate. But on the other hand, Tyler should just see it's just one check. It's just one check. It's not mate. 
So I think if you if you see that you have a square, you just you just take the horse immediately. Shouldn't be hard to see. Let's go back to the other event. Let me change the scene, of course. Um, let's watch Tyler one. Okay, Tyler is losing. Tyler lost to Venator. How did he lose this? Oh man, he oh man, he lost this endgame. What? What? Yeah, he loses this game. Unfortunate. Actually, why am I not following him? I thought I was just following him. Oh, we'll, we'll watch him because round two probably isn't starting for a bit in the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. I thought I was following him. What? Uh, wait, um, slash follow big underline Tonka underline T. Okay. Okay. All right. Your pineapples are my dream. Thank you. I still don't know who this Tyler dude is and why I should care. He is a streamer from, uh, I think, Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he streams League of Legends a lot. Main thing is that for some reason, he's basically decided to stop streaming and he's decided to spend all his time playing chess. Uh, did I unfollow? Yeah, I'm a, I have Saichev and Hans. When you click on a game, it automatically follows. So, like, the one I want to follow is. Uh, is of course a big Tonka T. It just means if they're online and playing games. But yeah, Tyler one is uh why is the eval bar so harsh on this opening? Because you guys don't you guys don't understand thirty five hundred is not applicable. I mean you just don't understand. It's like I'll give you an example. If if I went out to the baseball field, if, if I went out if I went out to the baseball field and I don't know, there's some uh there's some like I don't know uh who, who's a, who's a good pitcher right now like say 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 like. I'm a lefty. I'm not a righty. So, like, I'm a lefty pitcher. So, who's a good left-handed pitcher right now? I actually don't even know. Um, uh, I don't. I don't even know. I'm. I'm so old these days. Cause like I grew up and like I was a big fan of Andy Pettit. Cause I grew up as a Yankees fan. Um, Kershaw is a good one. I, I should have known that one actually. But Mariano Rivera is not a left-hand pitcher and he's not a starter. He's a closer. But like a good example is like so if I go out to the baseball diamond and like Clayton Kershaw is there for example, and I go out and I try to throw a curveball or I try to throw a fastball, like I'm gonna throw it and they're gonna laugh at me. They're gonna be like, "This is so horrible." But like at a very basic level, if I went and play, like it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter whatsoever. And it's the same thing in chess. It's the exact same thing. Like I could go and throw like a, I could go and throw a basic curveball and they, they'd laugh at me because at their level, it's like it's a joke. It's it, it was a horrible. It's like horrible. But it doesn't matter at the lower levels. Like, as long as you can get the ball to the plate, if you're just playing casually in one of these, like, leagues or whatever, um, you know, it's, it's just, like, it doesn't matter. And the same thing in chess. Like, if you're playing at the high level, like, you're looking at the computer bar. Computer hates the opening because it's terrible at the top level. But this is not the top level. It's not top-level chess. It's just completely different. I could go on another rant, though, by the way. I'll go on one short rant, which is I saw that in pickleball, apparently the number one pickleball player in the world lost to some tennis player or some golfer, I think it was, which uh, sort of shows how, how how pickleball is not a legitimate sport whatsoever. And I think people going and, like, buying into leagues or, like, buying teams and hoping it's, like, some the next big sport or whatever are completely brain dead. Um, all right. So, anyway, back to the game. Tyler's a little bit worse now. Actually, his opponent's being hyper-aggressive here with C5. This is the sort of stuff that'll be interesting to see how he calculates it. So, obviously, White will take back. Um, yeah. It's Rant Tuesday. Yeah, Rant Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, Queen C5, not best. Maybe, maybe it is best. The AB5 was maybe okay, too. But uh, let's see what happens, because his opponent's being very aggressive here. Vita qualifier for Canis, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much to Mate Aiden for 20 bucks. Igor Smirnov felt that tax puzzles were a waste of time. He said that basically you should study one GM and focus on thought processing. Your tax will get better, better naturally. Would you agree? No, I don't agree at all, actually. I don't agree at all. And I'll tell you why. Um, I'll tell you why. Okay, let me... Um, trying to think if I have a game of mine that I could pop up. Like, the, the problem is that, like, if you're not above a certain level, you can't understand. So, like, like let me give you... Uh, no, it's, it's too it's too complicated to explain uh, in, with like an actual game. So let me just let me let me just go back to watching. But uh, I would say it's not possible unless that GM is explaining what they're doing. So like it, it's like if if you show me if you show me like if I show you guys some game like you'll understand my thought process. But if you just look at a game, you're not good enough to understand the thought process. So it, it's like you need the driver. You're it's like you're, you're in the car, but there's, you're in the car and you see the car going each way, but there's no driver. So without the driver, you can't. It doesn't really work. It just doesn't work. I left chess for a couple of months, and I feel like I've lost a year's worth of progress. Well, that's the other unfortunate problem with chess. 
there is title two say at five that that's the other actual big problem with chess is that like if you don't if you're not above a certain level if you take even a little bit of time off you like you lose 100 points just easily you lose it like if Tyler took a couple months off the way XQC did his rating would immediately go down to like 1200. it's very very brutal it's very very brutal it's extreme it's extremely tough <clears throat> did we just get another F I don't think we did no thank you to Raspy for the prime appreciate it. thank you inconvenient ad timing yeah welcome to Twitch you guys they're ads on Twitch I'm sorry okay a3 is a funny move here from white I'm curious to see what Tyler does here this will say a lot about his his I, I want to see which move he comes up with because it's not an easy position to play like king e7 is the best move not a very human move at this level knight d5 I think is much more human queen d5 also I could see um but I don't really know what he's going to do here why are you watching two moves playing because this is Tyler one the famous League of Legends streamer who as I said whoa thank you to Velvet Canyon for the five gifted subs thanks for the Velvet Canyon appreciate it um watching this because basically is a famous League of Legends stream League of Legends streamer he's somebody who for whatever reason I, I said it and like I'm, I'm I'm saying it's somewhat in jest but like he's decided he'd rather play chess 12 hours a day rather than make money streaming League of Legends um and so it's kind of fascinating to watch it's, it's kind of because it's so unusual uh, on the one hand because it's like there are a lot of people who get into chess for a short period of time to pog champs and those sorts of things but they don't generally keep playing it like they're they're not they're not psycho um but he but um Tonka or Tyler apparently appears to be uh appears to be psycho and he just keeps playing chess oh Daniel got a GM narrow disc got a 53 month gifted sub yeah yeah why doesn't he just stream chess I think probably because it's impossible it's not well what I mean by impossible is that the problem with streaming chess is that there's so many backseaters because because in chess like if, if you're if you're new to the game you're starting they're gonna be a ton of backseater back backseat backseaters who are gonna tell you like you're so bad you're blundering it's very hard to deal with actually very hard um very hard to deal with 94 a very good move here by the way he said he can only play chess from his mobile so he can't stream chess huh so he, that probably means that he actually he likes a really small board he probably likes a really small board on his phone versus the gigantic board on the browser maybe but yeah in general the biggest problem with streaming chess is that there's so many people backseating that makes it very difficult um yeah Tonko is Tyler one yes I have a job interview tomorrow do you have any tips um just be confident know your know your value and show them that you're worth <laughs> worth that value just if you if you're confident good things will happen just be confident just be confident if you're confident and you like if you think you're worth a million dollars everyone's going to feel that energy it's going to be emanating from you like just think you're worth a million dollars and good things will happen um <laughs> so waiting waiting for a move here um I actually I'm not really joking like I, I think I think when you're confident like that means a lot I think when you're confident you emanate like confidence good things happen generally like if you if you make the boss think that you're special you're impressive you're confident and everything else of course trading the Queens by the way horrible from this guy with white like he apparently can't count that he's down a pawn here very very bad decision to trade the Queens goes Bishop c4 here um just be confident no it's I'm just saying if you're confident good things tend to happen that's all I'm saying I'm not saying it's like it's foolproof okay knight f4 bad move g3 to hit the horse is a good move here from white I know we'll get g3 at castles too much too much ego can be a bad thing agreed we're watching Tyler one but I will say actually it, actually if you if you find a way to work chess into the conversation that's probably a very good thing actually no joke like if you can find a way to say that you're like you, you like you you love games you love playing chess like that's gonna that's probably gonna give you a leg up no 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 joke actually like if, if you're doing an interview and, and it's like the boss of a company you say you play chess that's probably gonna make them think that you're a genius and you're quite smart actually I'm not really joking when I say that like a lot of people assume that if you're good at chess you're some kind of genius literally a lot of people do think you're a genius But what if they ask my rating I mean okay like unless they play as well and look you up no but chess is the game that like all like not all people but I feel like in in business like probably like 80 percent of people probably play play chess casually 
I mean, even if it's very casual, they play or they know what they know about the prestige and all the stuff about all, all like the gravitas and the prestige about chess. Legitimately, I do think so. I, I do think like a, a huge chunk of people in business, like they, they've at least dabbled very casually and they know what chess is and they know it's like you're a genius and it's like this game of intellectuals, even though we all know that's that's false. Um, but I do think it's true. I, I actually do believe that. I think it's over to Mehmet Ka for the four months. Okay, Tyler's up a pawn here. Not a great position for his opponent, but he's doing well. Let me see what happened to the other games. In the in the Grand Chess Tour, we had uh, Wesley So lost against Laquang. Sevian beat Nepo. Uh, Fabiano lost to Gucci Reza. We had a draw, and we have one game left. Let me just see what's happening here. Black has D's Knights as well as a um, Pyramid of Giza here. Probably going to be a draw, I guess. Probably. But let's move along. Let's get back to Tyler's game. Let's see what we have here. I'm playing title Tuesday in about an hour and a half. Pretty soon, actually. I asked my boss if they play chess and if that helped them run their business. They just laughed and said their father owned the business. I see. No, I just mean if you, if you, if you, just, if you can slip it into like a conversation, I think it's good. Like, if you just slip it in casually, you don't say that you're like some chess genius and you play all the time, but you can just slip it in that you like, you love playing chess every so often. There's a way to slip that into the conversation. Like, I think it's very good. Now, Tyler is winning here with the Bishop versus Knight and the extra pawn. The only problem that I would say at the lower level here is that Tyler's Bishop can't touch anything because all the black, all the white pieces are on the opposite color here. Although, Rook D2 is a very bad move. So now you get to keep the Bishop here and you can maybe get Lobster Pincers. Like, Rook D8 is a very easy move to play, and I expect him to play it right away. Because now you can't kick this Bishop off this F3 square. It's glued here. Unless his opponent finds Rook E1 and Rook E3, he's going to win this game. But the other problem is that in this position, or not this position, but his rating, he's just kind of stuck in this range. Since Tyler is kind of plateaued, how would you say, suggest he gets past 1400? A knight B1's a great move by his opponent. Wow, backwards knight move where he can take and hit the bishop. Great move from a 1400. Did not expect to see that. Wow. Uh, actually, I think first thing I would say is I think he's he's overdoing it. I think the first thing is like when you actually hit that hard hard plateau, you need to take like a day or two off. Not like weeks or months, because if you do that, of course, your rating goes down. But just take a couple days off and try to reset for, first and foremost. And I think beyond that, the biggest problem is that Tyler is, is like, it, when you play like only one opening, your brain kind of gets stuck with certain structures, certain patterns, and you're not, so it's, he's getting the same kind of position, same kind of patterns over and over again. Nothing wrong with that, obviously. That's how you improve. But he's not seeing unique structures and patterns because he's always playing the same opening over and over again. I don't think it's temporary, you guys. I, I think he's basically at, he's at, he's at his plateau. I think he, he is at his, uh, I think he is, he's not going to improve much from where he's at right now, unless he goes, unless he spends even more time doing things. I, I don't think it's an openings problem. I, I would not say it's about the openings. That's not the reason he's not improving. It's not the openings. Okay, Rook D8 is a terrible move. Nice. So now you go Rook D2 and you just win the game. I'm giving Tyler one fuel to disprove me. Sure, I mean, maybe maybe he'll be that 0.001%, like the only person in my entire life to somehow magically improve by 500 points from here. But again, I've never seen it happen, especially for an adult. For a kid, it's a much different story, but for an adult, it doesn't happen. Kids, for whatever reason, can just, like, they can just improve. Like, you can never write off kids. You can never write them off. Now, I'm curious how he's going to improve this position. Because it's not... One thing I have noticed is that his endgames don't seem... His end games don't seem particularly good. Adults are set in their ways. I mean, I guess you could say that. I mean, I, I even now I still don't understand, honestly. I still don't understand. Now there's A4, though, and I'm not so sure this is easy to win anymore. Rookie one, terrible move. Again, many ways. Rook D3 and Rook C2 both. Actually, Rook C2 wins because Rook D3, Rook E3 is not easy to win. I mean, kids are just like geniuses at learning anything. It's like the same thing as a language. Like, at like I feel like kids at like t even like 10 years old they can like pick up a language like this like you know if, if you have a kid and you have like I don't know you've got like their their grandparents or their their grandparents are in I don't know France or something if they go to France for like three weeks they probably can just pick up the language but like if, if I go to France tomorrow for three weeks you better believe like I'll pick up something but I'm not gonna be anywhere near fluent in French uh Rook C1 is mate by the way 
So, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know, but it's like, I feel like as a kid, like, you can pick up a language like clockwork as you get older. Like, even in middle school or high school when you're trying to learn, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. Mm-hmm. Why is it not act automatically popping it up? Very, very weird. I thought following meant the game automatically pops up. It doesn't? Maybe not. I don't know. Let me change the scene, of course. Yeah, see, like, this is an example where his opponent actually knows what he's doing. Like, this is where his opponent knows what he's doing, and he's going to get into trouble very quickly because his opponent is pushing P on one side. When you play openings like bringing the knights out, they're fine as long as your opponent doesn't push the pawns on the edge to harass the horses. If your opponent pushes on either side to harass the horses, it's very, very hard to play. Very hard to play. Who is Big Tonka? This is Tyler1, the famous League of Legends streamer, who also... Used to stream on Twitch. He doesn't seem to stream all that much these days, but um, yeah, it's, it's Tyler one. So, all right. Anyway, let's keep going. OMG, Ecar, you're rating on chess.com. It's decent. It's not great, but it'll do. Okay, so he played a4, wasted a tempo. The problem now is black has multiple pushes in the center center of the board. There's c5, c4, or e5, e4, ef4. I mean, very, very bad position. Can he reach 2,000? I don't think 2,000 is realistic. I think if he was like, if Tyler was like 16 or 17, I think it's possible, but he, he's a legit adult. So um, I don't think, I don't think it's realistic. We get knight b3, and now the question is c5 and e4. E5 is actually backs about five, but there's C5, B5 also not a bad move necessarily. Uh, best way to study and understand tactics. Actually, I'll tell you guys the best way to study tactics. The best way to study tactics is to click on, actually, let me change the scene. Um, let me change the scene to one that just shows it. Where, where is it? Yeah, best way to do it is to click on puzzles and click on um, puzzles. This um is to click on puzzles this is the best way to do it and when you click on puzzles like this is not this is not a straightforward one when you do puzzle rush it's nonsense puzzle rush is just for just for like looking cool on twitch or kick or wherever you're streaming but do the actual puzzles and puzzles this is what you need or no, you can't see because my cam lovely my cam's in the way yeah you need to click on puzzles and puzzles this is what you need to do all right let's let's go back um too weird let's watch the game um, Tyler is, you said he was winning, but queen c2 and he's actually in trouble. Wow, he misses queen takes c2. Bizarre. They need a Henry Sugar for the, for the, um, 39 months. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the other Z word, which is Zeit, Zeitnut or Zeitnout or something. There's, there's Zeit, Zeitnut, right? There's Zeitnut. That means time pressure. Yeah. Yeah, because there's Wissenschug, there's uh, Zugzwang, and there's Zeitnout. Or Zeitnout, or however you pronounce it. Zeitnout, yeah. Zeitnout, Zwischenschug, Zugzwang, yeah. Zeitgeist? No, Zeitgeist is something else, you guys. Zeitgeist means something else. Okay. <laughs> Fabiano lost in round. Round two is underway, so let me change the scene. Um, let's go back to Tyler's game. Let's see. Tyler's probably going to win this game, by the way. Uh, there's queen c1. Of course you go check. I mean, how do you not check here? Well, you see check, you play check. Because it could always be checkmate. That's what we tell beginners. I mean, you go check, of course, and take the pawn. Like, check here. Check here and take. I don't know why he's thinking. Queen c1 is the only move you should ever consider here. Just go for mate. Uh, title Tuesday isn't an hour 11 yet. He plays queen c1. He'll probably block with a bishop. Because if you block with a queen, you do hang the pawn on b2. But I could see him just blocking with a bishop, thinking, like, there's, there's no way to stop anything. He blocks with a bishop. I kind of am not surprised. There's knight g4, which wins here, by the way. But I expect queen f4 or queen e3, probably. Yeah, that's what I expected, queen e3. The problem is after h3, I don't actually know how black mates or how black even creates pressure at this level. 
No, he'll play H3. There's like zero, or he'll, no, uh, he'll play H3. I'd be shocked if he doesn't play H3. I mean, it's a very basic tactic. But let's see what we, what, what happens here. Webster University offers a degree in chess. I don't actually know, but H3 is like very basic. I'll, I'll, I'll assume that he's going to play it. Let's, let's do guess the, guess the move or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, H3 is not, I mean, it's like the only move you can even play. Queen A4, I mean, it's more that black has weaknesses. You, you need to get the bishop to F3 to coordinate first. Get the bishop to F3 and then consolidate. I mean, it still should be a draw at this at, at this level. Well, not this level, in perfect play. But uh, I assume that Tyler will win just because his king is safer and black doesn't have any squares for knight. I mean, it's, it's all about who has the plans at this level. It's not about anything else. It's just like the knight can't go anywhere. So with the knight not able to go anywhere, only a queen. I mean, it's kind of hard to go for checks or even go H. I mean, like H5, H4 is an easy draw with a yo-yo check, but I don't expect it to happen. Yeah, I don't expect it to happen. If he plays H5, H4, I'd be pretty surprised. Tyler is two minutes, not, not, not crazy on time. Cagnus would win this no matter who the opponent is. Uh, no, he would not. If he had the white pieces, he might win this. Maybe. But I think after H5, I don't think he would win this either. Was I invited to Sinkfield Cup? I mean, I could have played if I wanted to. But of course, I am I mean, I have my job as a streamer. Like, I don't make this stuff up. Everybody assumes that I'm just like, I'm pretending when I say that I'm a streamer first. But I am. I make I make a living streaming. That's how I make my living. Um, I play chess tournaments for fun. Which probably is why I do so well. Jokes, jokes aside. I oh, get Queen E3. Good move here, actually. I like Queen E3 uh, at this level. But now there's check, check. Actually, wait. Now there's a check, check. I'm um, see the the problem for for actually White here is that Black can't do anything with the horse. So checking is very common. It's like, hey, thanks so much. It's DK for the 23 month resub. This is actually a straightforward draw, by the way, because Queen F4, King G1 check. There's a tricky tactic here with Knight takes E4 and a pin, but I don't think it'll happen. I think we'll probably get a draw here. Unless Tyler actually tries to block with the queen, but I don't think he will. Yeah, I watched the Chessbrot video on GM earnings. Yes, I did. Knight D7 is a horrible move, by the way. Horrible, horrible move. I mean, it just hangs a free pawn for no reason. But if white doesn't take on F7, white will probably lose the game because black will get a bastion. But yeah, very, very bad. Thank you so much to Lacanos for the 14 months. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like super obvious. Like... It's not, it's not even a tactic. It's just a pawn hanging. It's the most basic thing that you look for. Let's see. Can he go knight f6? Knight f6 is the only chance to survive. I don't think he will. He'll probably go knight e5 thinking he's forking and miss the check and lose the game. Yeah, I mean, knight e7 was the worst move in the position other than hanging it. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I can't watch these games. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I can't watch these games insane yeah i'm gonna lose brain cells if i watch those games much more so yeah